What's up guys, this is Will and I'm back with another video and today we're going to take a look at the Bowmix Neotech Bluetooth Keyboard Portable Mini Wireless Bluetooth 3.0 Keyboard with Touchpad Mouse. This is for iOS and Android and also Windows tablets. So I picked this up from Amazon.com. You can pick it up uh, for $16.95 if you're a Prime member. And let's take a look at some of the uh, key features and details about it. Uh, as I said, this is a mini Bluetooth keyboard, 3-in-1 multifunction. Uh, it has the standard QWERTY keyboard layout uh, with a built-in high-sensitive sen high smart touchpad. Uh, this has a built-in lithium battery that's rechargeable you have a portable and compact design and this works with a wide range of applications so let's get into the box and take a look at it I'll also leave this this link in the description if you want to go and uh, check out some more details about this keyboard keypad key mini keypad keyboard and like uh, I picked this up uh, mainly I want to use it with my uh, tablet and also use it with my uh, my TVs so within the packaging here you get a uh, USB to micro USB uh, cable here you actually have two uh, USB ends on this and I'm not exactly sure what the purpose of that is maybe somebody can tell me within the the video what what the purpose of it is but you actually have two of these and you also have a, uh, a micro USB end right there see what else is in there that's all in the packaging there let's see what else we got here uh, of course you get your instruction pamphlet here uh, tells you you know what you need to know about the keyboard here and also you get the keyboard so let's take a look at that see what we got here so this is a uh, as you can see got it in my hand it's not very big uh, very light and weight uh, not very thick so let's go around it on the back here you have your compartment for your battery right there uh, that's a lithium battery that's that's uh, rechargeable uh, on the bottom there's anything on this side nothing that side not anything at the top here you do have your on and off switch and your USB slot to charge it uh, on the front of it here you have your nice trackpad uh, your directional keys buttons here uh, here's some more up and down side uh, left and right buttons you have your mouse button here and your quarter keyboard these these keys for this size of this keyboard are not too bad as you can see uh, kind of clicky space bu space button is good enter button is good and the little trackpad is not too bad either so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it get it hooked up to my tablet and uh, we'll take a look take a look at it hooked up to the tablet so stand by guys okay guys so I'm back and after reading the uh, instructions here I have my Kindle Fire HD 8 tablet right here after reading the instructions you have to push FN and F1 at the same time uh, to get this ready for uh, Bluetooth connection and you hold these two at the same time until you get the flashing uh, blue light right there so on my tablet I'm going to pair a new device and scan for it and right away I picked it up uh, the iPass port Bluetooth so I'm going to go ahead and get this paired up. Should pair within a few seconds there, and there it is. It's connected, so I should be able to, to use this right away. And there's, as you can see, there's the uh, uh, pointer right there. So we're going to go ahead and get out of out of this. Well, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that you can stroll with this. If this is a strollable page here, we'll go back, get back out of this. So. Uh, as you can see, it's very uh, responsive here. Uh, I'm filming this at work, so I'm not around Wi-Fi. Uh, but as you can see, if I wanted to go into uh, uh, display here and 
uh, bring up the brightness. Uh, no problem right there with response on it. Uh, get out of this whole uh, thing here. Uh, and I'm going to go up to the top here. And just like I said, I'm at work. I'm not around uh, Wi-Fi, but within the search area there, I'll go ahead and uh, demonstrate the keypad. Uh, hopefully you can see this. I don't have the best lighting here available. But the keyboard is, is clicky, and as you can see, uh, no problems uh, using it so far. And a very nice, uh, this is very nice. As you can see, I'm offline, but uh, uh, I, de I definitely want to use this with my Fire uh, TV as well. Uh, and so I'll demonstrate that when I get uh, get back home. I'll have that part, part of the video uh, linked in with this also. But uh, very easy to pair. Uh, and uh, so far it's really working well. So I'll, I'll put that part in the video so also, so stand by guys. Okay guys, so we're back and I have it. Uh, I'm in one of my rooms at my home and I got my Kindle Fire TV set up and I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the uh, Bluetooth keyboard, try and pair it. So what you have to do is go over to settings hopefully this is coming out I know I got a big glare on it you go into settings and you go over to controllers and Bluetooth devices and you go down to other Bluetooth devices and add a Bluetooth device so now I'm gonna go ahead and get my keyboard here uh, hopefully like I said all of this is coming across so I got the power on on the controller here there it is now I gotta push F in F1 and F in at the same time till it starts flashing there it is so now it's searching uh, Fire TV is for searching for a new device there it is right there uh, it's connected as you can see on the TV now I'm going to go ahead and select that and now it's pairing the device uh, alright there it is device is connected as you can see over here in the corner over here okay guys so I have it set up I got it uh, figured out the controls on it so here it is here now I'm going to go down uh, using the down directional arrows and if I wanted to watch an episode of uh, Spongebob, just keep punch on that. And I can go to the watch button there, press it uh, with the OK button. And now I should be getting into Spongebob right there. So to get out of this, I'll uh, hit the escape button. And that takes me back. And uh, if I wanted to search for something... Uh, I'm hit the search button and I can go ahead and search for whatever I want to search for uh, just by using the keyboard here and just I just put in anything and there it is now it's going to bring up the menu for whatever I put in cars and there it is so pretty nice keyboard guys uh, for $16 and something uh, you have all your functionality of a standard keyboard. Uh, this works also with uh, PCs, uh, laptops, and uh, other devices. So uh, there's just a quick demonstration of it working up with the Fire TV. Uh, and uh, so we'll catch y'all in the next video. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. And like I said, we'll catch y'all in the next next video. Thanks for watching.